All right, so I was just in a parking lot. I went to dinner, and uh, let me fix that. Yeah, went to dinner, and I was in a parking lot behind a bank. Don't ask me why I parked there. But anyway, it was like right next to a river. And I think I would have been fine. No, I know I would have been fine if once I parked, I just got in the back and went to sleep and shut everything down. But I didn't. I decided to stand outside of my car, enjoy the weather, and, you know, just kind of like suck in some fresh air because I really wasn't tired yet. And a cop came through. I mean, that's their jobs. They, they, they come through and they look at stuff. And he came through and I weaved and nodded at him. But he looked me directly in the face So and looked at my car. So I'm pretty confident that if my car was there at 2 o'clock in the morning and he was still working and he came through and saw that, he definitely would have knocked on my window or at least looked in the car and saw that I had a curtain hanging up. And so to avoid that, I'm going back to my... Um, my number one spot where I never have any problems, ever. And I could probably stay there for the rest of my life if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so keep an eye out for that, guys. You know, when you're, when it's time to go to bed, don't waste your time. Get set up. If you're going to enjoy some time, enjoy some time somewhere where you're not planning on parking for the night. Because you, you run the risk of what just happened to me. Um, the other advice I'm going to give you is to... Oh, crap. I just lost my train of thought. Anyway, let me see. So I've been doing this for, I guess, four weeks now. This makes week four of me living out of my car. Uh, full disclosure, I work during the day, so I'm not totally in my car all day long. I store food at work in the refrigerator. Um, so I don't keep a lot of stuff in this car. Um, I'll do a video and show you guys my setup. But right now, I'm on the way back to my number one spot. Um, So that's the lesson that I learned today. I was gonna run the risk of doing it, but I was like, I really don't wanna have to get up and explain myself in the middle of the night, or get ticketed, or get towed. Waking up in a tow yard is not fun. I've never done that, but just off of the other people's videos that I watched on YouTube, you just gotta be smart about it. So when I go to my next spot, I'm gonna shut down, because every single time I park somewhere and I don't go immediately to bed, or to my air, my sleeping area, somebody always sees me and comes up and talks to me, or makes it really weird for me. So, yeah. Oh, I got some really, really big news coming for those of you that are watching. Um, I'm gonna be upgrading to a Class B RV because I love living in my car so much. Um, and I just, I want some things in there that I don't really have right now in case I need them. Like right now, I need to go to the bathroom and I really don't want to drive to a convenience store to go to the bathroom. That would have been convenient as heck to use that, but I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go do it. Um, and uh, yeah, so I pick that up next week and I'm excited, yeah! So I can't wait to show you guys. I'll do a full video of that, the rundown and everything. I'm still gonna be a minimalist in the way of keeping only what I need. Um, If you guys have any questions, um, any suggestions for me um, while I'm still in my car, I should be in my car for like another five days, let me know. Um, once I get in the Class B, it's not going to be car dwelling anymore, but I will be in the Class B full time. Um, and uh, I guess my crowd will change after that. But I love you guys. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for subscribing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just doing it to help people out. So if you have any questions um, or any suggestions to make my life easier, let me know. Oh, uh, and the car that I have, it's 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 a, um, a Pontiac Vibe. So uh, if you go on Google, you can see until I put a video up, it's a 2003 Pontiac Vibe. And that's what I'm living out of. And I absolutely love it. I wish I had done it sooner in life. I'd probably have a lot more money. But all right, that's it. I guess I'll hit you guys up when I get to my spot for the night.